In this video, I'm gonna show you how to reduce image noise in Photoshop. So the image that we're gonna use is this GNOME image here. And if I zoom in, you can see that it was taken with ISO 6400, so high, but not super high, but it was with a Canon T6, so an older camera. And you can see how much noise was produced in this image. So to fix this, the first thing we're gonna do is just duplicate our image. So Control or Command J to make the copy. Then we're gonna right click and go up to Convert to Smart Object. Okay, now go up to Filter and down to Camera Raw Filter. Now, there is another way to do this under Noise. You can do Reduce Noise. I just prefer Camera Raw Filter, so I'll show you this way. Okay, so once we go in here, you are you're gonna have all these like drop down things like this. You're gonna find the one that says Detail, and we're not gonna do Sharpening. Actually, let me just zoom in to like 200% here and go to this hand so I can move it kind of over to that spot that I was showing you before. So if we go to sharpening, we obviously don't want to do that because if you do that, that brings back more noise and kind of these weird little artifacts in there. So avoid that. You're going to go down to noise reduction. And if we crank this all the way, you're going to see that it really gets rid of all the noise, but it'll really soften up your image. So really just decide kind of how far you want to go with that. Feel free to go as high as you want. I'm going to go to about just 80 or so. If we go to detail, uh, I like to keep it around 50, just keep it there. Cause if you go too much to this side to bring the detail back, we get, you know, kind of noise and artifacts back in it. And if you go too low, then it softens it up way too much. So I'm just going to keep it around 50 and then contrast kind of the same thing. It doesn't impact it as much as detail, but so I like to just turn it up just a little bit to bring some contrast back into it. As far as color noise goes, this one is, uh, you can just crank this one way up. Cause if you see in this, you can see that a lot of times noise has kind of these different color patterns. So if you can see it on your screen, mine has kind of this green and kind of red purpley kind of noise in the background here. So if I crank this up, it actually gets rid of the variation in color in the noise to make it look a little bit nicer. So I'm just going to crank that way up. You'll just watch, I'll slide it back and forth. So maybe you can see it a little bit better. Okay. So I'm going to crank that up and then for the smoothness, I'm just going to bump it up just a bit and then we're pretty much done. I'm going to click okay. And there it is. That's the newly reduced noise image. I'm going to zoom out just one so we can see it a little bit better. So now if I click this eyeball, you can see that's what it was before. So look, especially in the darker kind of areas here, you know, down here, you can see that's what it was before. And then now that's noise reduced. Okay. So the reason that we made this a smart object with smart filters is that now whenever we want to adjust these, so if there's something we still want to adjust, all we have to do is double click on the filter. So camera raw filter, it'll bring us into that menu. We can make further adjustments if we need. So let's just say I want to boost that up a little bit and then click OK and it will apply that adjustment to the filter. So the last quick thing I'm going to show you has to do with the mask right here. So I'm going to click on this and let's just say that there's most of this you want to keep as like full opacity as 100% of this noise reduction but there's certain parts that you want to be sharper. Like you want to reveal more of the sharpness from the original image. Then all you have to do is go to your brush tool, make sure that black is in the foreground here. And then I would just drop your opacity down to let's just say 60 something percent and your flow down to like 25, 30%. Make sure your brush size is kind of appropriate for what you're going to paint. So I'm going to paint in the eye right here and just drop your hardness down. Okay, so the reason why we're doing this is because whatever we paint with black onto this mask is going to reveal essentially the details from the original image. So I'm going to go over this eye to reveal the details. Actually, let me just zoom in even more. So I'm going to undo that. And you're going to look right here in the eye. As I paint, you're going to see a little bit of the detail plus the noise. Remember, the noise is going to come back too. Not all the way, just kind of 60% each time I kind of paint over here. So the more you paint, the sharper that part is going to get. The more noise and the more detail is going to come back. So I'm going to do that eye. I just painted over it twice. I'm going to go for this eye. I'm going to do the same thing. So I painted over it. I'm going to let go and then paint again. And that brings back that. So now when we look at it, we've applied the noise reduction to all of this, like to everything else, but we've kind of punched a hole through here and here to bring back the detail from the background here. And you can see the two little black zones on the mask that I painted through. 
And that's it. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.